In this video, I want to share with you some simple examples of how to use LDAP and Tenable.sc. The use cases we're going to talk about are different ways to use LDAP queries to find assets for the purposes of scanning, user responsibility, and so on. We are going to show three examples, Windows 7 in an organizational unit, login count low, and managed by attribute. Many companies use organizational units in Active Directory to group users and workstations, so we can utilize that same ability in Tenable.sc. In this example, we're going to use two filters, the object class and the operating system, and then set the search base to the appropriate OU. In this case, it'll be OU equals New York, DC equals demo, DC equals INT. So I'm going to click on the link here for the Windows 7 located in New York. Then we see here defined is our search base and our search string. Notice we have a star at the end of Windows 7. This helps to include Windows 7 Professional, Windows 7 Ultimate, and so, so on. I can click on the Generate Preview and you can see that I have one system shown. This is correct. I'll hit submit. As the asset list is edited, we'll show calculating and it'll show results of one. Take a look at the next example, login low count. Many times a customer asks how to find new systems on the network, or they use an OU to stage new systems, but the systems are only in the OU for a day or so. How can we scan the systems that are new? In this case, we can use the login count attribute. Set a threshold that you consider to be low and scan away. In this example, I'm going to set the filter to 40, but this setting you will need to define locally. If we click on the LDAP login count less than 40 new systems asset, we can see that we are searching our entire Active Directory structure we have our object class as computer and the login count equals less than or equal to 40. When we generate preview, we can see that we've got three systems discovered. Using this filter, we can easily scan systems that have only been on the network for a short period of time. This last example, we're going to assign an Active Directory user to manage other objects. In this case, we are assigning Bob Smith to manage systems. We can create a user in Tenable SC and assign that user an asset. This allows the security team to use the user responsibility tool to see the assets managed by Bob and report the risk on those systems. Let's take a look at the asset followed by the analysis screen. We click on the asset here, managed by Bob. You can see we set the search base to our full Active Directory then our search string to object class computer and then the manage by attribute. Be sure to set the full distinguished name in your search string. Click on generate preview. We've got our three systems that are match. Now let's verify that the user is configured correctly. We will search down here. We see responsibility, asset, again LDAP managed by Bob. Now we click on the analysis screen, go to vulnerabilities. We can choose the user responsibility tool. We can see the other users. We click on Bob here and we can see the list of vulnerabilities that Bob is managing. As you can see, very quickly we can leverage different LDAP attributes such as service pack, log logons, the operating system, uh, organizational units, groups, etc.